new submarine will be of a new class called Besset. According to the statement of the Iranian military, this submarine will launch cruise missiles, but in their statement, it is not clear the number of cruise missiles that the new submarine will be able to carry. However, it has been confirmed that it will have six torpedoes and additional mining capabilities. According to the Iranian news agency, Besset will weigh approximately 1,300 tons, be at least 60 meters long, and operate at a depth of up to 300 meters. Sources claim that Besset will move with 12 knots 22 km per hour on the surface of the water and 20 knots 30 km per hour under the water. The Iranian Navy's new submarine class Besset is an evolutionary model of the existing Kaam class, which is in service in Iran. Judging by Iran's slow progress on submarines, Kaam is a relatively new submarine launched in August 2008. Its operational capabilities are quite limited. It is known that this class of submarines can launch several torpedoes and submarines. The U.S. Department of Defense claims that the Iranian Navy has a total of 19 submarines. Three of them are attackers and are of the Kilo class, Russian production and delivered from Russia in the 90s of the last century. Iran has 14 small Yono class SSM submarines, which are manufactured in North Korea. Thirteen of them were manufactured by Iran after Tehran acquired a Yono class submarine SSM in 2004 and later reached an agreement with Pyongyang and began building them in Iran. Yono-class submarine SSM has a displacement of only 120 tons and has only two torpedo tubes, firing 53 cm heavy torpedoes, mostly locally produced. The last two submarines of the Iranian Navy are Iranian-made and are of the FATA SSC class. These are FATA class SSC submarines that have a displacement of 600 tons, swim to a depth of 200 meters underwater, and have a range of 5,000 meters. In June 2012, an Iranian official asserted that scientists were in the initial phases of manufacturing atomic submarines. They claimed Iran's success in retrofitting one of the imported Kilo-class submarines, after Russia had declined to do so, was evidence of the country's advancing submarine development capability despite delays. In September 2017, Iran's naval command said that the country's nuclear agency was beginning to produce nuclear reactors for fueling and propulsion systems. However, many analysts assert that manufacturing a nuclear reactor for submarine use is beyond Iran's current capabilities and is simply a response to increased U.S. sanctions after the U.S. withdrawal from the JPCOA. Iran is also experimenting with wet submersibles. The Sabahid 15 GPS-equipped two-seat submersible swimmer delivery vehicle, SDV, designed by the Esfahan Underwater Research Center, has undergone testing with both the IRON and the IRGCN. Due to their limited endurance and payload, SDVs are primarily used for mining, reconnaissance, and special operations in coastal waters. Iran is reportedly developing naval facilities at Cha Behar in the deeper waters of the Gulf of Oman in order to relocate its submarines from the shallow waters of Bandar Abbas. From 1992 to 1996, Iran commissioned the three Kilo class, called Tarek class in Iran, diesel electric submarines from Russia. Iran reportedly paid United States dollars 600 million for each boat. The vessels are all currently based at Bandar Abbas in the Strait of Hormuz, where two of the submarines are operational at any time. These submarines are occasionally deployed in the eastern mouth of the Strait, the Gulf of Oman, and the Arabian Sea.
Their utility in the Persian Gulf is, however, somewhat limited as Kilo-class boats require a depth of at least 164 feet and can therefore only access about one-third of the Gulf. Unique water conditions in the Gulf such as water salinity and strong currents further limit the boat's operational use unless the submarines are deployed to deeper waters in the Gulf of Oman or the Arabian Sea. The Iran controls the Kilo-class boats. In 2007, Iran began deployments of small Gadar-class and Ahang-class mini-submarines for use in shallow coastal waters. Reports on the number of operating Gadar-class submarines range from 10 to 21, but in 2017, the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence estimated that Iran possessed 14 of such submarines. Iran also reportedly operates one Nahang-class submarine, which became operational in 2007. The operational capabilities of these vessels include firing torpedoes, both the Gatter and the Nahang class have two 533mm tubes, laying mines for anti-shipping operations, and deploying of special forces into enemy territory. The mini-submarines are operated by both the Iron and IRGCN.